I'm sorry if this is like, no, yeah, we you know no, what? No, no, no. We need to organize in a way that, that happens in our own communities. General strike, all women stop going to work. We organize in our own streets. We stop commerce until they fucking listen to us. No more writing our representatives, no more marching in the streets. We stop them where it counts in their fucking bank accounts. What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today guys, we're back again with a new video guys today. I'm here with an amazing video. I hope of us checked out together. This is pre-abortion extremists. They are wrong for nine minutes streets. So I would love to check this out with you guys. Let's get right to it. No more writing our representatives. No more marching in the streets. We stop them where it counts in their fucking bank accounts. Fuck them all. We Fuck need them. more women's rights built into our America. That so-called fetus is not alive. Which is a stage in human development. It is not alive. They're not, not able to have sex. <laughs> they are unable to not have sex. That was the best part of this whole interview. That's so funny. How do you navigate that? I don't know. I'm, I'm answering these questions. I'm coming with my opinions as you ask them. I don't know. Jesus loved abortions. Jesus loved whores. Jesus loved virgins. Jesus loved everybody. And we Seriously? need to keep abortion safe in America because my choice of a child is my dog. I don't need a baby for a family. This is my family. Do you not want to talk to me because I'm pro-life? Yeah. That's it? This is a pro-life interview, by the way. Are you guys pro-life? I'm gonna go. I'm so sorry. This is a waste of my time. Like, seriously. I'm Lauren. I'm Anna. And we're here in Washington, D.C. to ask people why they're at the Bands Off Our Bodies rally today. We should fucking be out here. We're fucking women. We have order. Like, if I need an abortion and these bitches aren't the reason I can get one, then we have to fucking say something white Republican men that are trying to make the laws for our bodies and it's so stupid because we should be the ones to say what our bodies can do and cannot do. But didn't a male dominated court decide Roe v. Wade? Yes. So how do you feel about that? Horrible. That's bullshit because we're the one, we're women. They're not the ones with the uteruses. They're not the ones with the vaginas. They're not the ones that have to go through the shit that we have to. They, they decided Roe v. Wade. That's what I'm saying. A male dominated court decided Roe v. Wade. But now they're trying to take it away. But it's, it's a more diverse court now. So how do you guys feel about that? Going back to the uh, d disability argument. So if somebody does conceived and they, they have uh, disabilities, you would think they sh are more likely or you would encourage them to have an abortion? Well, they should have the option if genetic testing of the embryos suggests that it's, it's going to be positive, it's going to have um, fatal abnormalities or, or be incredible, you know, yeah, basically if it's not going to be viable outside the womb, it, abortion should be an option that's available to families. Do you think that could be a form of discrimination though? Because there are types of abortions where people can go into an abortion facility and say, it's a girl, I want it to be a boy, um, I want an abortion. And then same thing with if they find out if their child has a disability, they could go in and say, I don't want a child with a disability. I advocated very hard for people not to come to Washington, D.C. and get fucking ignored by our government. I'm sorry if this is like, no, yeah, we you know the, what? The we need to organize in a way that, that happens in our own communities. General strike, all women stop going to work. We organize in our own streets. We stop commerce until they fucking listen to us. No more writing our representatives, no more marching in the streets. We stop them where it counts in their fucking bank accounts. Fuck them all. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so Have a good one. This is really pissed. I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm not trying uh, to like, no. to like, to like harsh your vibe. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Life begins at birth, you say? I, I guess so. I guess that's my opinion, yeah. Would you say the same thing? I think so, yeah. Okay. So you think like they're, like if I were to be pregnant right now and it's my due date, would you say that my child isn't alive yet, but then like once it's born, that's when it becomes alive? I don't know, I guess not. Maybe I'm changing my mind. <laughs> so that's a tricky question because like, like I think about like siblings and everything and like I know like newborns aren't sustainable but are newborns not worthy of life? Are they not worthy to be protected at that point? Well that comes back to the child abuse question. They're, they're able to sustain life if they're supported by adults. Mm -hmm. Which would be the same with NICU though, right? Yes, same How thing. How do you navigate that? I don't 
don't know. I'm, I'm answering these questions. I'm coming with my opinions as you ask them. I don't know. Well, uh, I mean, like a fetus or a clump of cells has to rely on the mother to live. Like, fetus can't live without the mother. Infants ha are dependent on people, though. Individuals who have some type of disability might have to depend on someone throughout their whole life. So the argument of dependency, I feel like could be applied to multiple groups of people, not just someone in the womb. It is expensive to have children. Holy moly, it's expensive. Who's gonna help with all of that? And when the kid goes to school, who's gonna pay for those lunches? Who's gonna ensure that child is out of poverty and has all the things that they need? Well, I know an organization called Standing With You that actually does all of that and supports women in need um, when they're going through a pregnancy, but also after they deliver a child. So there's a lot of resources out there, um, but wantedness should never determine someone's worth or uh, humanity. So my point being is- uh, Have you ever been pregnant? My ability, I, I have never been pregnant, but I know other people who have been pregnant. What is your point with that though, with the issue of abortion? It's really important that when people have I say, have you ever owned a slave? No, but can you be against slavery? Every clock. Have you only, have you ever owned a slave? You said no. Can you be against slavery without owning a slave? That our ancestors, because you're white and I'm white, probably did, which is wrong. But that is the argument that you're utilizing, is that because I've never experienced a pregnancy, I can't be against an injustice. I've never owned a slave, but I can still be against slavery. I've never participated in sex trafficking, but I can be against sex trafficking. So that's a logical fallacy. We, we need up. more women's rights! built into our America! And that's what we're walking for today! That's what we're fighting for today! Every day! Yes, fuck it, the patriarchy is all we have to say. Yes, Just yes. fuck it, the patriarchy. So why do you think abortion is so controversial? What is abortion? Um, well, it's killing um, a baby, basically. So she while knows. it's in the womb. So it's controversial because people believe that it's ta you're taking away a human life. But you don't have a life until you are out of the womb. You don't have a voice. And I would say that it's the woman's voice at that point. It's the mother's choice. So you said abortion is killing a baby, um, but you also mentioned that the baby is not alive in a mother's womb. So how can you kill something that's not alive? You put me in a little tough position. So you said unborn babies. Do you believe babies exist within the womb? I think that babies do exist at some point within the room, but I think that abortion is healthcare regardless. Would you be against abortion at that point where you realize that babies exist in the womb and they're alive? Yes. And you don't know what point that would be? I believe that a woman has a right to abort the baby at any point. So you believe in abortion up to birth? Yes. So when does human life begin? I, that's not for me to decide. I think the, if you're going by the Bible, the Bible says that life begins at first breath. So I think that that argument is bullshit. But so they're only human and their rights only should be protected when they're born. Yeah. Okay. So when does human rights begin? That's my question. When, I, I believe human rights starts when you're, uh, you're, you're first born. Okay, so when is a human life, uh, when does human life begin? When that baby exits. So you would support uh, abortion up to birth? Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hope you don't have an ectopic pregnancy. Thank you. That is it. Ectopic pregnancy. But either way, the only hope of protecting our abortion rights, I think, in the near future, is by codifying it in Congress. So when do you think a human is a human? Um, when it pops out. So you don't think at any stage before uh, the child is born that they are human? Um, I mean, maybe at some point, but also I think that even when they are a human, if a mother is deciding on their own life at stake, um, whether it be their future or whether it be their physical health, that's a choice for her to make. So even if we were able to prove scientifically that life started at a certain point in pregnancy, would you be against abortion? Uh, no, and they've proved that that's not necessary, like that is a completely subjective matter. That'll never be proven scientifically. So the majority of biologists actually universally agree that. This is that a pro-life interview, by the way. Are you guys pro-life? I'm gonna go. I'm so sorry. This is a waste of my time. Have a good one. 
Well, today was very interesting to say the least. It was not a surprise at all that we saw a lot of rage from the pro-choicers. We saw them yelling at our people. I got spat on a few times. My friends were shoved and hey. pushed around. We even had racial slurs getting yelled at some of our students. No surprise at all to see this anger from the pro-choicers. No surprise at all that a lot of pro-choicers do not know what they're talking about. As we ask people questions, as we ask them to explain why they're there, or we just ask them basic simple science questions, they're stumped and they don't have answers for that. It was so clear today that science is on the side of life and that we are the ones that are actually doing our research. That is as it is as simple as that. A lot of people, a lot of protesters, a lot of pro choice. A lot of pro choicers, they don't know where they stand. They really don't know what abortion is all about. A lot of women have regretted abortion. A lot of them. Especially the ones that have an erotic pregnancy. It is life changing decision. You might do it first time, second time, third time. Maybe you're coming out, it's, it's happening. But you're killing a baby. Either you accept it or not, you're killing a baby. Then, when it starts getting more serious, just a time you do not expect, you just go to do the abortion, boom, erotic pregnancy. Like, you are unable to give birth again. Boom, just like that. You have altered your entire life. You can't have a baby of yours. I know some people don't want to have a baby, true. Some women take away their uterus because they don't have a baby, true. But it's not everyone that have that made such decisions. Number two, you are killing a baby. You are killing a life. I mean, yes, <laughs> I work at a hospital. I have seen like six months, seven months, eight months. They do some CS. They take away the baby because of emergency. The baby, it's not your time for the baby to be out. But they're able to bring the baby out. So, people right here are saying, unless the baby comes out from the mother, that's when the baby have life. The baby have life inside the mother. That is how the baby is growing. The baby have life inside the mother. That is the funny thing that people don't want to accept. They just don't know what they are, what they're doing. They don't know why they're protesting. They are just, boom, let's join the crowd. Because every single person the ladies interviewed, they basically don't know the main idea of abortion. Abortion, you are killing a baby. Either you accept it or not, you are killing a baby. We are not saying you don't have rights over your body. You have rights over your body. But when another life joins your body, you don't have rights over that baby. You get. I don't know if you're getting me. Once a baby join <laughs> you like a mother, once you have once you are pregnant, you don't have rights over that baby. Number one, you don't have right to kill that baby. Because one, the baby is growing inside you. Some women also talk about um, giving birth is expensive, taking care of babies is expensive. You made a decision. You made a decision by sleeping around. I know some women get raped. Should be told, we all know the baby, some women get raped. And I, I detest it. Anyone who raped a woman should be in prison, should be dealt with massively. But the action that have occurred, though it's not by your choice, it's not by the woman's choice, because she was forced and she was raped. But the baby that is living inside you had nothing to do with that scenario that happened. The baby is unaware of how he or she was formed. You don't have to take away their life. Their life is still impactful in this world. I'm using um, all this is just to be as an example. Justin Bieber mom wanted to abort him, but she did not make that decision. Look at who Justin Bieber is today. Irrespective of the scenario that led to you being pregnant, you should not take away that baby. That baby did nothing wrong to you, nor the man who slept with you. You have your body, your body is your choice. No one is dragging that with you. But once a baby is inside the mother, has a right to come out alive. Is your body? But the baby inside have to come out alive. <laughs> um, I'm pro-life. I'm supporting anti I'm anti abortion. People should not kill innocent babies. They are ought to come out alive. Ought to see this life that we are all living. Because it's your body does not mean you own the baby growing inside you. The baby have to come out and see the word for he or self. So guys, comment down below. Subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up, share this video as many as you can. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe.
I just bought a bag, like an old lady I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers, pass that 808 That don't, don't shake her Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitch, in my bed, I 